Mmm, greasy. Good evening, good morning, and welcome once again to the original Optimist Radio Hour. Carl Smool here, editor, etc. And I'm nearly hysterically delighted to be here on such a silly evening.
celebrating his life and his work. One more, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what I just want to say is Carl will never leave us because he's left so much of himself in all of us have um, acquired some midwifery skills <laughs> because um, first of all um, I had my daughter Leota right over here wearing the brick Carl Snow shirt and um, I was pretty young and I didn't really know very much about babies but Carl I was up at the Mount Vernon Birth Center and I had to go back to a rented room with this new baby so I called Carl and he said, okay, I'll, I'll be there. I'm coming up the next day. Um, I don't ever do this, but for Carl, I will try. Um, I met Carl probably the third day that I moved to Belltown accidentally um, after meeting Dorit, who is here somewhere. And she introduced me to Buster Simpson. And... Before I knew it, I was in a studio in Belton, and probably after two or three days, I met Carl, and he came up to me and he said, oh, I heard you're a photographer. Um, we want you to take a picture of a cherry tree. You know, I mean, I can't remember this word for word, of course, but um, the next thing I knew, we were on our first project together. Hey, these are the Belltown years. Carl was my roommate at 123 Bell Street, and it was the site of many, many great times. Um, I'm extremely upset because this weather's ruining my hair. But anyways, uh, Carl, I'm not 100% sure how I met him, but I remember going to the Ozone Ranch. Thank you for... Her uh, the original Uncle Janet. Cookie Groupie. She was the original Uncle Cookie Groupie. Yeah, and mascot. <laughs> and um, so we've we've all shared so many times together. Carl loved collaborating. That was his biggest thing. He wanted to work together with everybody, um, and that's why he loved it here in Seattle. I want to before we. Um, before we close, if anybody, I know there's lots and lots of stories because my gosh, what wild times we had. I remember my son told me one of his first memories of Carl was when he came over to um, Philly Lou, my house, and he and Mike were spinning around and rolling down the hills and dancing in the fields. Um, that's just what he loved to do. Now, introducing the kitchen orchestra. The forks. The pan lid and soup spoon. The drawers. And cupboards. Whipped cream. And the kitchen tap. Now the egg beater. And the kitchen stove. More pans. The blender. And the toast. And now a little kitchen cantata.